morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and today's shout out goes to DBL Zero Express 22. DBL Zero Express 22 was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus was a shout out, so congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, with a review of a really neat, interesting new aircraft, folks. This is the Ziyang ZY 525 Land, Sea, and Air. Really cool looking plane, folks. Um, it's a differential thrust plane, you can tell by it, because it has two motors here. <laughs> but uh, it only weighs 82 grams, thus this does not require registration in most countries, folks. Um, it's got a 320 millimeter wingspan on it, um, made of EPP, crash-resistant EPP foam. It also has a crushed nose cone here to help protect nose ends, hopefully. We'll see if it actually works. Um, it also has little LED lights on the front. I'll fire them up here shortly to show you the LED lights. They're not very bright though, folks, so um, I, they could be used at nighttime and dusk, but in daytime you are not going to see those lights. Now, it is powered by two 820 motors, okay? Well, they're 8 millimeter motors. I don't know if they're 820s or 816s, but they are 8 millimeters. I, I measured their diameter. Um, they are brushed motors, so this these motors will fail eventually. Now, this is a good looking plane. It even has a clear semi-clear cockpit or actually smoke cockpit with a little pilot inside there i don't know if you can see him or not i'll bring it up closer there's the pilot on this particular aircraft um now the airplane is gyro stabilized okay even though it's differential thrust and when i mean differential thrust it turns mainly by varying the speeds of the motors okay so say if you want to turn to the left the right motor will speed up and the left motor will slow down and the aircraft turn to the left and then vice versa if you want to turn to the right this motor would speed up and this one slow down now they also control banking of the aircraft when you increase increase speed on one of these motors that increases the lift on that side of the aircraft and also banks it as it's turning so now this also has gyro stabilization now the gyro stabilization helps keep the aircraft supposedly helps keep the aircraft from flipping over or tipping over uh, in pitch. Now, how does it do that? Again, by varying the speeds of the motor. So if it was tilting over this way, you increase this speed here to level it. If it's tilting up, you know, say you're doing fugoid oscillations where it's going up and down like this. As it's going up, it would reduce the speed of both of these motors to bring the nose down. And as it's going downward like this, it would increase the speed of both motors to bring the nose up. So that's how the gyro stabilization works on these two-channel differential thrust aircraft. Uh, let's see, what else have I mentioned about it? Um, it's controller. Let's go over its controller. Now, the instructions for this were all in Chinese, okay? <laughs> Luckily, my phone has uh, Google Translate with that image um, translator, so I was able to just take a picture of that and uh, decipher it. But let's go over the controller here, what, what it says about the controller. This is the on-off switch, as you would guess. It's powered by four triple-A batteries. And the buttons on this, you have a button on the left and a button on the right. This button on the left is for uh, turning off the lights, turning the lights on and off. Or if you hold it down for two seconds, it turns on left trim and you can adjust the trim by pressing this button. And then uh, press it one more time for two seconds to uh, set that trim. Vice versa, if you want to make, adjust the right trim on it, you hold this button down for two or two seconds until you hear a beep and then bump it until it straightens out the aircraft and then hold it down for another two seconds and the trim will be set. Um, this is throttle on the stick and this is a yaw or roll. <laughs> well, rudder. Let's say rudder since it's the aircraft or flying an aircraft on this. Again, two channel, only two controls. Throttle for up and down movement of the aircraft to make it go higher and make it come down lower and right and turn or right and left turn or left and right turns with this particular stick here now this controller is supposedly rated out to 300 meters you're not going to be able to see this airplane in 300 meters folks you're lucky to be able to see this at 100 meters so you know 300 meters is a bit of overkill if that's true now this is powered by 3.7 volt 450 milliamp per hour batteries this battery is supposedly supposed to give this uh, aircraft about 12 minutes of flight time that could be true. Okay, I've seen uh, differential thrust aircraft fly for a pretty long time on one of these little 300 milliamp, 300 milliamp, uh, four, it's 450 milliamp per hour battery, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, that, sh that could possibly be true. Now let's look at the battery bay of this. Um, it doesn't also mention about the battery bay and how to install it, but it's 
the way you open this up, let me show you, it clips up and down. You have to pull somewhat forcefully on this stick here until it pops open like so. And then you can stick the battery inside there and plug it in. Now let's show you those lights. Let's just bring those lights up and connect it to the controller. Controller is connected and then you bind it up and down. Now those lights are on. Now again, I mentioned you can turn, you see they're not very bright. But you can turn them on and off with this button here on the left side, left shoulder button on the controller. See, off and on. One other thing I forgot to mention. Uh, since this is Land Sea Air, this also has a reverse function. So right, right now it's going forward, but if you press down both of these sticks, or both of these buttons, now it goes in reverse. So it can go forward and reverse, for, you know, for the Land Sea land sea and air <laughs> in, other mode, in other words so um now let's talk about that land sea and air air obviously this will fly but land mode this is just going to skim around above the ground i don't know how well it'll do but we'll see i'll try to do some land mode uh, tests on this c the c version of this um i don't know if that really has the power to lift this off and you're going to probably need really flat water you know with not any ripples or waves i don't have that folks here at erie you know lake erie is pretty rough and uh, uh most of the uh ponds i know of you really can't fly there so um in other words i won't be able to demonstrate the c version of this uh but keep in mind i really feel that the c version of this is probably just um it turns into a boat that you can turn right and left and drive around your local pond i don't know if this actually has the power to do a liftoff some maybe somebody in the follow-on reviews can verify whether this can actually take off from water but i doubt it <laughs> right now i'm doubting it and also i'm worried that the water is going to affect these decals on this so make the decals fall off and that's another reason i don't want to go in the water with it so <laughs> okay i forgot to as usual i forgot to mention what comes in the box <laughs> you get the box itself which is the kind of a big box by the way when this arrived here um that box was kind of scrunched in in transit and that damaged uh, one of my vertical fins here and i had to straighten it out using a um a um hair dryer okay the way you do this when when you, if your foam ever gets damaged or it's bent uh severely bent even severely bent you can probably usually fix it by just blasting it with some hot air from my a hair dryer and then manually straightening it straightening it and when it cools off it will straighten out or will maintain that shape so just keep that in mind if you if you do get a crunched up aircraft not everything is lost you can actually repair these relatively easy with a hair dryer warm, warm setting on a hair dryer will do it okay i uh, forgot to mention what you get in the box you get the instruction manual and uh this uh manual right here this is a quick start guide showing you how to get an aircraft again it's all in chinese you are going to need google translate to translate this if you wish but just what follow along my review uh particularly what i just mentioned here in the beginning about what this controller does that's all you really need to know it's a really basic aircraft again uh, it's just a basic um, differential thrust airplane hopefully it flies great but again you get the airplane instruction manuals in chinese you get one or two batteries depending on which version you buy you know i recommend getting the optional uh, two batteries because you get it only costs another two dollars to get the second battery so i would recommend getting it you also get the charger for it you can charge these batteries uh in your usb port of your computer or in a wall charger either way we'll charge these particular batteries you get a spare set of propellers one for the right motor and let's see the one this one's for the left motor and one for the right motor um there are there are two different shaped propellers so if you do lose one of these propellers and need to replace it make sure you check the shape and replace it with the exact same type shape otherwise your airplane is going to be spinning instead of flying okay and you get the controller the 300 millimeter or 300 meter controller which i doubt really goes to 300 meters to tell you the truth folks okay so that's the zy 525 lancy air let's take it out in the field now and see how it flies so hope you enjoy this flight Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the inaugural flight of the ZY525 from Ziyang. Uh, first off, we're going to put in the battery, or turn on the battery, and I need to plug that in. So hold on while I do that, folks. Okay, the battery's plugged in, putting it on a flat level surface, like so. Turning on the transmitter, and to bind it, I need to uh, connect the controller to the drone, or the airplane, by moving this left stick full up and then full down. 
and we should be good to go. Let's see how it works on a flat surface. <laughs> Almost took off. Almost. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try to take off and see if I can turn it to the right here and head off into the field. So hold on. This will be interesting. I'm going to give it a good run and head off in the field. But yeah, I don't think this has the power to take off from water, to tell you the truth, folks. Um, it just doesn't have that much acceleration to do that. So let's go up here. There's a lot of people here today, but they're out uh, cleaning up the park today. Actually, let me go up here. We're going to make a takeoff run and try to get it into the field. So hold on while I do that, folks. Okay, I'm going to try to fly in that direction and try to get it into the air. Now, real quick, I want to show you this can back up. If you push both of these down like so, it can go in reverse, but it's not very powerful. <laughs> okay, forward again. There it goes. It's in the air. <laughs> okay, reduce the throttle. Let's take it over. It loves to climb. It loves to climb. I'm reducing throttle big time and getting lots of fugoids on it. So what does that mean, folks? We gotta add some weight onto that nose <laughs> or else it's gonna be doing that a lot. And how do you add weight to the nose of these? Yeah, bringing it down. It's almost going backwards because of that. Reducing throttle, reducing throttle. We'll bring it down and I'm gonna toss some weight onto that. But yeah, there's no way that could take off from water. <laughs> you could drive it on water, but you know, as a boat, but uh, there's not enough power for that in these two motors. Oh, and it can stall. Okay, <laughs> big time. Okay, I got some weight in my pocket. Let's add some of that. Now, what this is, folks, is just plain putty, uh, like the putty that you put on your uh, under your window sills to uh, uh, seal out drafts. And there goes that crushed nose. It really pushed that forward, didn't it? <laughs> but it protected it, hopefully. Now I'm just gonna stick this on here like so. Stretch it out, and it's just sticky putty. And it's gonna stick. I hope it's gonna stick. Doesn't seem to, let's put it on the top instead. Maybe on this material here, it'll stick better than that foam. No, how about the plastic? Oh yeah, it's sticking better on the plastic. So I'm putting it there on the plastic windshield. And that'll add a little bit of weight to the nose of this and hopefully help bring that nose down instead of pointing up like it was doing there. So let's try it again. That is much better. That is much, much better. <laughs> so reducing throttle. So yeah, you're going to probably need to add some weight to the nose of this to help it fly better. <laughs> but there we go. That's what I was looking for smoother flight notice that so when you see those you know those uh, roller coaster up and downs those are called fugoid oscillations and even this um, gyro stabilization wasn't look at how much little throttle i got on that and it's flying flying very well with very little throttle but yeah once i put a little bit of weight on let's bring it down lower this is flying too well can't fly that high like that i probably got one tenth throttle <laughs> It just wants to stay up there. Come down here so we can see you up close. It's just barely gliding. How come it took so much power to get off the ground? And then once it's in the air, it's, it's easy to stay in here. Okay, I'm giving it proportional turning. I'm just checking this gyro stabilization. Normally, these differential thrust planes, if you give it, you know, any, you got to use bump turns to turn it otherwise they'll flip over but this one no I'm gonna bring it down I find that I can bring it down by turning it okay that reduces some of the lift on the airplane so let's see if I can turn it and bring it toward me there's a wind at my back by the way I give a little more throttle of about ooh, six miles per hour I'm guessing but it's flying very well for, for differential thrust plane, <laughs> but it's not super responsive. There, I, I try to give it more throttle there, try to stop it from uh, 
touching the ground, but that wasn't enough. So let's get it back in the air again. Let me adjust this nose cone. This little nose cone keeps popping off a little, but there we go. Back in the air, the wind's that way. Oh, I threw it downward. Threw it downward, shouldn't have done that. Try that again. Just in the nose cone. Trying again. There we go, that's better. Upward push. <laughs> so we know it's crash resistant. It is pretty easy to fly. You know, all you're doing is turning right and left with this and adjusting the throttle to go up or down. Letting go of the stick. It's kind of a nice airplane, actually. Easy to fly for beginners. Here, I'm just giving it hard turns, trying to bring it back down again. That's about the easiest way to bring it down. Also, I've got to reduce that throttle a bit more, too. It doesn't want to come down. This thing flies so well. I'm at 25% throttle. That'll bring it down, I think. Come down here. Maybe this does fly for 12 minutes like advertised. I'll just go back and do some of these type of turns. Figure eights, hard banks. That should hopefully bring it down. Yep, there we go. So when you give it a hard bank, it loses some of the lift. And that'll help bring it down if you've got problems with too little throttle not working. <laughs> I can reduce that throttle even more. Increasing throttle and turn it to the left. So, yeah, um, <laughs> ground, land, air, mostly air. Okay, uh, ground, yeah, if it's a really smooth surface, water, you know, amphibious, yeah, it'll, it'll work like a boat, just like a boat. I don't think there's any way that that's going to take off, though, folks. That's just not enough power in those two little brushed motors to bring it off the ground. Um, the, those ones that you see that are amphibious that actually can take off from water, those are usually brushless motors on those, much more powerful motors than what's on this. So that's why I, you know, this one's very doubtful that this will take off from water. Maybe if you had a good running start off of a dock, I seen one guy take it off from water. Let me just say that. And what he did was, folks, was something similar to this. He got a good running start off of a dock, and then he just touched the water after it went off the dock and before it went into the air. So he didn't start in the water. He cheated, in other words. Okay, let's just go right, left, right, left. It's, it's a good flying plane <laughs> for a beginner to learn. The basics of uh, orientation control orientation on these uh, airplanes you know that's not an easy thing to learn um, which way should I turn <laughs> once you're in the air beginners get confused easily you know that's why this would come into play big time for a beginner I gotta reduce that throttle some more it, it really wants to climb in that wind you know there's a wind coming from the lake over there let's bring you back down again reducing throttle some more To the right, turn to the left, come back down here, doing hard turns, try to bring it back down. And there it worked. One down, one. Yeah, this is a, one of the more interesting uh, differential thrust planes. Much more interesting differential thrust plane compared to the others that I've seen. And it flies pretty good too, I gotta say. Are they cutting grass? Yeah, it sounds like it. It's okay, I got some time here. That battery should be dead before. <laughs> I have to worry about him coming over here to cut grass.
trying to keep low and it's so hard with going into the wind and coming away from the wind with these little differentials. <laughs> Again, it's the wind is in my face right now, coming from the lake. Fun playing there. <laughs> Differential plus th thrust, <laughs> along with that um, gyro stabilization. You know, they hear the motors going. Arr, arr, arr. So the stabilization is working. I'm going down here further to get away from that lawnmower noise. My dog and wife are over there. Let's go bother them. <laughs> Let's see if my dog would want, would be interested in this plane. Probably, let's see what she thinks about this. What does my little girl think about this over there, huh? She's ignoring it. You gotta be kidding. Okay, no, she sees it now, now she wants it. No, I'm full throttle now. No, 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 keep her away, no, 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 keep her away. <laughs> Right then, the battery dies. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, right down the battery. Well, that's its flight time, folks. <laughs> I think I got another battery in my pocket. I want to get some more flight out of this. That was kind of fun. <laughs> I know you wanted that, didn't you? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Not for you. Okay, let's put another battery and see how it flies with this second battery. Okay, I got a second battery in it. We should be ready to go here. Wind's coming that way, giving it throttle. Throw it in the air. And yeah, reducing that throttle right away because it's climbing. <laughs> but yeah, this thing likes to climb, even with that weight. But we're just gonna fly it in and see if I can keep it close. It's hard to do when it wants to climb like that. That throttle. Look at the throttle, folks. <laughs> what is that? One fifth throttle, I'm guessing. It's giving us slow, you know, harder turns to bring it down. Let's stay out of the sun. Running back throttle up. Turning, 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 turning. Come back down here with those turns. <laughs> Fun plane. Actually, it is a fun plane. <laughs> turning to the right. It's for beginners, again, learning to fly, learning turning. And this is one of the first things you need to learn, is maintaining orientation. Which way do I turn, right or left? You know, some people, you know, when you, you fly away from you, they or say you got to reverse uh, controls, or when you're flying toward yourself, you got to reverse controls. That's not how I do it, folks. The way I maintain, um, orientation is I pretend I'm in the airplane <laughs> okay okay uh, I pretend I'm sitting in that cockpit and which way do I turn right or left <laughs> now again one of those orientation tips for drones actually works with these two and if it's moving to the left say it's moving to the left and you want to bring it back toward you you notice it's way far away and it's a dot in the sky it's moving to the left all you got to do is just keep turning to the left slowly turning to the left until the movement to the left stops. Well, I didn't get a chance to try that because the wind took over. But once that movement stops, it's, it should be coming back toward you. Come back down here. Throttle is one fifth or yeah, one eighth, maybe. Hardly any throttle at all, folks. It's flying backwards now. <laughs> try to turn it, try to turn it. Give it more throttle. We're going to need more throttle here. Coming downwind. Yeah, the wind's picking up even more. Maybe it's eight miles per hour now. Wom. Rom. Rom. Starlings don't like this either. <laughs> There's these little birds here at this park that are really protective. There they are again. Where'd you go? <laughs> They're protective of this area. Okay, now that wind is really picking it up. 
and it's having a hard time going into it. About eight mile per hour, I'm guessing. But it's a kite now, it's tagging in the sky. <laughs> and hardly any throttle. Going down wind, hard left turn, hard left turn. Zoom. Ooh, listen to those gyros on those motors. <laughs> I can't bring it down. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> there's not any throttle at all on here. I, w I want to maintain control because if I turn it off entirely, I lose a lot of the control. Wow, that wind is really picking now. Zoom. Come back to me. Come lower too. Lower, 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 lower. <laughs> Come to me. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it past me. It's going to climb every time I give it throttle to get past me. It climbs very nicely. I'll give you that. This probably can go up real high. Let's go far off in the distance there. Then cut the throttle and see how it glides. Let's take it up higher and higher and higher and higher and cut and throttle entirely. Throttles off entirely. Let's see if this thing glide. It's just hovering there. Coming down wind, you're still gliding. Now when you turn, the motors do come on to turn. So that's what you're hearing folks, it's the motors turning it. Okay, turn the motor back on again. So it was up there. But, so yeah, this is a gimmicky airplane, I'll give you that, you know, they say land, sea, air. It's air, <laughs> but it's very good air, I'll give you that. Very good air for a differential thrust plane. But yeah, it can go in water. It's waterproof. So yeah, it'll float. So you can use it as a boat. And uh, if you've got a really smooth area, smooth surface area, you can go on land too. Bumpy, not so much. Better run up that throttle here. So we're going to see how much flight time this battery gives us. We'll have two, two batteries to give us a good average uh, flight time for this aircraft with the provided 450 milliamp per hour battery. Run, reducing throttle again. It's just gliding there. <laughs> wow. Just gliding. So yeah, my dog wanted that plane so badly. <laughs> she, she's gotten several of my aircraft in the past <laughs> so I gotta watch her <laughs> she's a little stinker <laughs> I still love her <laughs> but she's a stinker <laughs> so, uh, she's a American Eskimo for those of you wondering uh, I'd never heard of that breed before we got her from the pound but <laughs> but yeah we went to the pound and after we our other one uh, passed on and uh yeah she came running up to us and chose us so <laughs> couldn't say no to that okay come back down here airplane let's try doing these uh figure eight style turns or with hard banks that should bring it down yeah there we go Hard banking figure eights will bring it back down. And I'm right. <laughs> there we go. I'm just going right, right, then left. And then overhead, 
and then back to the right, hard right. I do these hard banks to bring it down, hard left. Even the hard banks ain't bringing it down anymore. <laughs> Come down here. Here comes one of those lawnmowers. <laughs> zoom, zoom, zoom. I can't get it to go past me. <laughs> there we go, go past me. Into the way. Let, let me get it. We'll go up this way since this guy's going to be mowing here. And coming back, and that motor, I'm full throttle right now. So it looks like that's going to be our flight time. And I was right. There it is. <laughs> so that's the flight time, folks, of the ZY525. It's actually not a bad plane. I'll, I'll give Ziyang that. It's a, it's a good airplane, a good beginner's learn to fly airplane. You are going to need to add probably some weight to the nose of the plane like I did. There's other ways you could do that. Like that removable nose cone, you could probably throw a penny inside there or something to weigh it down. So, you know, this nose cone comes off. But that's the way I normally weigh them down, is put a little bit of putty. So that's a ZY525. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Pretty neat airplane. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. Thank you.